Hello, my name is Emma Ernest. I'm 27 years old. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I first heard uh, Bree Mathers from Love the Skin You're In speak at HB Woodlawn in 2015, 2016, and it changed my life. Um, I come from a very abusive childhood. Um, I come from a lot of body issues. I'm 27 and I'm just now getting my life together, struggling with depression and um, child regression and body issues. And if I hadn't heard her speak, I would still be in a really bad relationship and I would still be in a really negative headspace still struggling with addictions and depression and I saw her speak and it changed my life um, and I wish I graduated 10 years ago and I wish I had seen her speak in high school when I needed it the most when I didn't I ran the theater department and the kids came to me for answers and how can kids with these body issues and suicidal tendencies and drug addiction in high school, how can they come to another student when there's no there's no programs there for them? Like, how how are we allowing that to happen? We need to be talking about, you know, the we need to provide a space for kids to feel safe. And right now, you know, even when I was in high school, you know, kids there's a stigma. You know, you're uncool if you have an issue. You don't want to talk about it. There's girls are bullying other girls because they're fat. They're not fat. <laughs> in fact, they have they have eating disorders. And like we. We need Bree to speak. It changed my life, and I know these. If you read the cards that we brought, it's just mind blowing. I've read all. Um, I've read all of them from HB Woodlawn, and to read these kids who are coming out anonymously with issues that they can't talk about. They can't go to their parents because some of their parents won't believe them, or they're they're going home to face abuse. They can't go to other students because the kids don't understand what they're going through. Try telling another twelve year old, "Hey, I'm suicidally depressed." Like you're just coined as an emo kid or something else and you're put into this box and bullied even further. And that's just, we need a place where adults, we can support the children and they can have a safe place to come to. And Bree's talks provide these various um, associations. Thank you.